Howdy, this is Jeff Shell for EUG and AODL. Welcome back to my channel of various things keeping this old hermit alive. This is a channel update one. Uh, it's New Year's Day 2023. I didn't, I didn't entirely mean to do this, but it feels like a good day of just kind of stating some intentions so that I can hear God laugh as I, well, Hopefully I'll get to some of them. Uh, this channel has recently been focused a bit on photography, but if you look back into the archives or just see me come up from other things, there's a lot of unusual, noisy music stuff as well. I have been neglecting that for many months, and uh, in fact, like, you know, I talk about being an old hermit, and I've got the crazy beard going on right now to prove it, because it needs a trim, but this video comes first. Some music. It's been almost a year, I think, since I really felt I did anything substantial with it. Uh, I've been spent a lot of the past year feeling really strong, strong feelings of disassociation and disconnect, and I think this is why photography has really stepped into the foreground of things kind of keeping me distracted from day to day, uh, because all well, that seeing, controlling, navigating, taking in the world through this extra layer of remove. Kind of is how I've been feeling inside, even just operating myself. Even when I don't have this camera in hand, I kind of feel that same slight distance between things. Uh, then I seem to have lost a lot of my appetite and taste for things that used to really excite me a lot more. And so I am trying to be a little more proactive in trying to reconnect to some of those things. While photography has really kind of stepped up and felt natural, even though it's something I've loved and enjoyed doing off and on for many years, uh, it's definitely been the chief thing uh, over the last, uh, especially over this past year, over all of 2022. While music, when I start really trying to think of it and imagine it and think of what I might want to do, it almost feels like I'm connecting to poison. And I am not sure entirely what that is, but I'm going to work with that by just starting to record various noisy, crappy experiments. Like many of the older music things uh, that are on this channel. So it's January 1, 2023. There's a thing going on called January, if you haven't heard of it, where generally synthesizer people uh, record one thing per day or upload something per day. I have tried doing this in the past, and but it's always been haphazard. Maybe this year will be too, but uh, in other years I've usually had something else going on, was working towards an album or something on some general idea, and right now I'm just saying screw it. I've got a lot of really cool, weird, unusual gear. I haven't touched it for a lot of it for a long time. It is time to just get some of these things out in weird combinations and see what they do again. So expect a bunch of synthesizer and noisemaker content, but there should be camera content as well. Uh, I will keep those playlists separated, but the general stream will be uh, with a bit of both. Uh, camera topics include, I really, really want to 
do a video about the X Pro series. Like I absolutely love this camera and I kind of want to talk about the unique experiences it offers, design, or and, and maybe the video will just be, be, be me talking through and trying to understand myself of why this camera resonates with me emotionally so much. But I've had a Leica T for about three months and I've been wanting to do a kind of a, not quite first impressions, but kind of, you know, after three months, some impressions on that camera that eh, definitely feels a bit uh, underloved. Maybe with good reason, but it's a camera that I find myself liking and uh, I want to talk about that. I recently picked up the Sigma SD0 Quattro. Oh, that thing is awesome and weird and unusual and I love it. Uh, although I've used it very little as the weather has not been cooperative and generally I make up for that by being a hermit and just photographing the same things around the house all the time, which lately has just been taking pictures of my other cameras. So when I go on eBay or MPB, I can look back at my stuff and go, no, no, my cameras are still pretty. I like them. Uh, the SD0 Quattro definitely uh, deserves its own video. Uh, I like it, but yeah, it's not great for uh, inside stuff by default. Uh, I want to get back to talking about just looking at certain lenses like this. 7 Artisans 35mm 1.4 on the Fujifilm rangefinder bodies and just, you know, talk a little bit about how they look and feel. Uh, I've been neglecting that kind of compact lens profile series. So there's stuff to come and I'm excited to start filming uh, some of this musical gear again as that is part of why I justified getting into these cameras in the first place. Yeah, I got them to do photography but I also got them to uh, be able to film stuff here in the studio side of the cottage which is very very limited space which makes doing this kind of January thing appealing of just breaking down to one or two weird little objects and making something crappy with them and just trying to have some fun and trying to just get myself uh, free from whatever blockage is uh, I've currently put up around music because I've missed traveling and performing as AODL at been a while and it would be nice to rebuild not just my own connection to making that music but then also rebuild some connections to the uh, community around the country that I used to play with and see if I can get some travel out of that which would then open up places to photograph again. So, that's my semi-accidental intentions video for the start of 2023. Uh, I feel like I took a bit of a break from filming and doing much on here, but I want to get back to it. Uh, because it still at least looks to be a solitary winter. And this has been something pretty fun to do. Well, Happy New Year. And I'll see you around. As for how I intend to record this January stuff uh, and film it, is to go pretty simply. Somewhat simply. <laughs> Everything runs into the Tascam Model 12 mixer. Uh, 
mixer definitely warrants its own video at some point but this can act as a total standalone multi-track audio recorder and that is where I use it a lot as well as just being my mixer and it has sub outs and so I use those into a pair of quarter inch cables the feed into an Electron Audio CV split cable kit which can take a pair of it's about splitting or joining obviously a quarter inch or one eight inch cables into a single TRS slash stereo connection that goes down with the one eight inch one eight inch input then going into another adapter to go into the little uh, what is it 2.25 millimeter whatever tiny thing is for the Fuji cameras and then I can do that audio directly in so I can record right into the camera everything is in sync I don't have to sync it up later so especially with this content I get you know, very clean signal through my mixer through my headphones and the camera is getting the same thing I can adjust the levels for the camera separately from the other levels and that is how I will attempt to do that and that will be filmed on one or both of the XE3 and the X-Pro2 alright now that one's really it <laughs>